Hi, it's V from Crafting Daily Dose. Today we are going to be making another alternative for the April 2021 paper pumpkin kit called So Cool. This is a watermelon wiper card. And there's a little bit of a design on the back as well. This is made by adding in some cardstock and some coordinating designer series paper called Ice Cream Corner. Let's get started. Start with two pieces of old olive cardstock. Each of them is going to be seven and a half by four and one quarter inches, and you'll score each at one inch and at two inches. So here's one inch. And if it's easier, you can use the measurements that are on the right hand side of the trimmer instead. And here's two inches. We'll do the same thing for our second piece. One inch. Two inches. Now, on this second piece, on the right-hand side, the side that does not have the score marks, we are going to mark halfway down. So this is four and a quarter, so half of that is going to be two and one-eighths. So let's measure out two and one-eighth right there, and I'll just make a little mark. I'm also going to mark the top of this score line, which is two inches in from the left edge. You don't have to do this, it's just so that it's easier for both of us to be able to see on the camera. So I'm now going to put this back in my trimmer, and I want to have this mark along the track, and I'm going to swivel my paper so that the other mark that I had made is also along the track. And I'll adjust it so you can see them both. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to press down and I'm going to use my cutting blade to trim off that piece. When I was cutting out the pieces for my card panels, I also saved a little piece that is one and three quarters by two. And I'm going to go ahead and make some marks on this as well. I want to make a mark that is at one inch from the bottom, and then at one inch from the right side. So it's going to basically create a little corner here in my piece. I'm going to put those two marks along the track of my trimmer, and I'm going to score in between them. Just adjusting to make sure that nothing shifted, and then I'll score in between those. So again, this creates a little flap, a little corner here. And then finally, I need a piece of basic white cardstock that is five and a quarter by four inches. This is for the back of the card and it gives a place to write the message. This part is optional, but I have two pieces of the coordinating ice cream corner designer series paper. They are each five and a quarter by four inches and this one is going to be for my back panel. This one is for my front panel and I'm going to trim it a little bit with that same diagonal cut to make it match the front part of my card. So for this one, I need to measure at one and seven eighths inch from the bottom. So I'm going to put this here I've got my edge along the trimmer track, and then I'm going to make a little mark at one and seven eighths of an inch. 
once you've marked it, let's pick it up so that we can make sure that we're making the correct cut. So my mark is on the right hand side and I want this corner that is on the upper left. So I'm going to put this along the track and I'm also going to put the mark that I made along the track. And once they're in place, I'll go ahead Once they're in place, I'll go ahead and make the cut. So this is what your piece should look like. And then it's going to layer over this piece with a nice even margin all the way around. Let's go ahead and put the designer series paper pieces on. So for our card panel pieces, we are going to go ahead and make these folds. So this first fold is going to be a mountain fold, meaning we're folding the paper away from us. And then the fold on the end is going to be a valley fold towards us. So it's going to be a zigzag, and this is what it's like from the top view. Our other piece is going to be folded the same way. So this fold is a mountain fold. The fold on the end is a valley fold. And you can reinforce all of these with your bone folder. So both of these have the same fold. You're going to take the back panel and you're going to flip it over like this. And this is how the two of them are going to come together. And that's what it looks like from the top. Okay, so, so we're going to use a stamp and seal and we're going to adhere it this is on a series paper to the front and this one to the back. We're going to install this little rectangle and this is the one that we made with the corner flap. This is the actual wiper mechanism and it's going to get installed onto this second panel of the back of the card. In order to figure out where it goes, we need to put the back and the front together temporarily. Only the things that are from this point and lower are going to be covered by this front panel. And so I'm going to make a little mark at the place where this intersects. And I'll go just a bit lower than that. When we put this mechanism in, we want this corner flap to be at the lower right hand side. And we're going to put glue on just the back, just this little flap. Put some glue right up to that crease. Now we're going to match this point where the flap starts with the mark that we had just made. So this whole flap should fit onto this second panel here. So let me give you a couple of different views from it.
You can see already that when you close the card, that's going to automatically fold down. And then when you open it, it's going to pop back up. Let's go ahead and put the front and the back of our card together. We're going to start with the left-hand side and put some adhesive down on the back of this first panel. And um, for this, I'm gonna recommend either tear and tape or glue. Whichever method that you use, you want to make sure that you're getting up right to the edges. And I'm gonna go ahead and line this up with the back panel. And I'm using my fingers here as a guide to make everything flush. And give that a little bit of time to set up. Okay, now I'm gonna push down everything flat and glue it down this way so that I know that it can be perfectly flat when I need to put it inside an envelope. So I'm going to turn it because it's easier for me to work with this way. I'm just going to use my finger um, as a placeholder so that I know that this part down here is the part that's going to need glue. And we're only putting it on this panel. Don't get glue onto your little wiper mechanism. And again, fold it down flat and adhere it that way. If there's any stray glue, now is the time to get it. Let it set and then you should be good to go. Now my watermelon slice is gonna go right on top of here. I lined up my watermelon edge with this diagonal cut. I'm stamping a sentiment onto one of the circular labels from the kit, but I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black instead of the ink spot that we have this month. And then I'm going to adhere the label onto some of that um, glitter paper from the kit. And for this, I would use either glue or the little mini glue dots. Um, this is so textured that it's gonna be hard for the stamp and seal to get a good seal there. Now that we have our sentiments, we're ready to put it into the card. And what I recommend for this is go ahead and open up the card. It is not gonna be completely flat. You can see that, but you just need to know how far it can open comfortably and where that wiper is um, when it's open. So I'm just going to put my sentiment here so that I know that it's going to um, show when the card is open. You don't want to go too far to the right um, because then it's not going to be completely hidden. If you want to, you can use one of the glue dots just to hold it in place long enough to test it. You're not going to put it down really hard or anything. You're not going to press really hard. You are just going to get it to kind of lightly stick. Like right there and then just close it make sure everything is hidden 
and when everything looks good, then you can go ahead and um, glue it down more firmly. And for that, you can use more glue dots or I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. And before the glue sets, you can make any little adjustments that you may need to. That looks good. Don't forget, we still have the back of our card, so let's go ahead and decorate that. I've got my piece of basic white cardstock that I'd cut before, as well as that leftover piece of the designer series paper that I trimmed off and I'm just going to glue the pattern paper onto the cardstock. I've used the cute watermelon stamp from the kit and I stamped it onto some additional pieces of that designer series paper. These are just the back sides of the patterns that we were already using. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fussy cut them out to do a little bit of paper piecing. Notice that when I'm fussy cutting, I'm keeping my scissors relatively still and just moving the paper around rather than trying to angle my scissors in different directions. Once everything is in place, then I'll use my stamp and seal to put it onto the back of the card. So now you have a cute place to write your message on the back. And that's our completed card. I hope that you've enjoyed this dose of creativity and that you'll join me the next time. If you don't already have a demonstrator and would like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you can find that link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.